So in this video, we're going to talk about determining between what two integers the square root of a number is. So we're going to determine between what two integers the square root of the following numbers is. So we have the square root of 5, square root of 30, square root of 88, square root of 150, square root of 100, uh, 637. So all of this will result to um, ir an irrational root. But we are not after of, of the exact value of the roots, but we want to know where it falls between what two integers. So this is how you do it. So for square root of 5, okay, so what you're going to do is to look for um, the closest root, I mean the closest number to 5 where you can get a root. But it must be smaller, smaller than 5. Okay, so the closest or the smaller, small, uh, the closest number smaller than five, which is, has a, an integer root, is four. Square root of four is two. So that means uh, the root of square root of five is in between two and the next number, which is three, of course. So it's the root of square root of five. We don't know what's exact, but we know that it's in between two and three. Okay, because it's bigger than the square root of 4. Okay, so, and it's also smaller than square root of 9, which is having a root of 3. So that's the reason why uh, it's like that. Okay, that's how we know that it's in between two integers, 2 and 3. So it's around 2 point something. So next for square root of 30. So again, we're going to look for a number lesser than 30 where... When you take the root, it, uh, we can get an integer root, okay? So the closest, which is smaller than 30, is 25, because square root of 25 is 5. So that means the root for uh, square root of 30 is in between 5 and 6. Okay, so automatic that whatever is next to 5, then that will be the next integer, which is 6. Next, for square root of 88, um, the closest, which is smaller than 88, is 81. Because 81 is a perfect square. It's a square of 9, okay? So, square root of 81 is 9. So, that means the root of 88 or the square root of 88 is in between 9 and 10. So, it's around 9 point something. Next, for square root of 150. So for bigger numbers, of course, you if uh, you're you're not um, task or obliged to memorize all the squares of the numbers, except for those below uh, 100, below 10, yeah, because you you memorize multiplication table. But for more than um, 100, then um, you need to do some trial and error. So you look for a number if you multiply it it will get closer and closer to 150 okay so but basically the answer for this is um, 144 that's the closest to 150 it's a perfect square because um, 144 you can get that by squaring the 12 so 12 times 12 is 144 and that is so far the closest to 150 and it's lower than 150 so that means the root of 150 is around between 12 and 13. Now next is kind of big. It's square root of 637. So you have to do a lot of trial and error for this if you are not familiar with the squares of uh, the integers. But actually, um, the closest to this is actually 625. So 625 is a perfect square. And that's closest to 637 because square root of 625 is 25. 25 times 25 is 625. So that means the square root of 637 uh, lies between uh, 25 and 26. So that's how you uh, identify the the two integers where the root of the the numbers uh, fall. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button. 
and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.